Right, g'day guys. So today I'm going to try and run you through some IVE definitions. So let's do it. All right, starting with gene. So a gene is a small section of DNA which codes for a particular protein. For example, just on this DNA strand here, you can see a hair color gene, right? This section of the DNA codes for proteins that build up to hair color. And you might make proteins that get you glorious red hair like this red kangaroo or a stunning Aussie mullet, sort of blonde mullet, just like this gentleman over here, right? This is what a gene is. Okay, so an allele is actually an alternate version of a gene, i.e. they code for a different protein, but for the same trait. So for example, we've got two different people here. We've got person A and person B. Both of them have a hair color gene, right? The person on the right has the red hair allele. The person on the left has the brown haired allele, right? These two different sequences code for different proteins, okay? Which is why we call them different alleles for the same gene. So two, they are two different alleles for the same gene. Both code for hair color. One sequence makes a brown protein and the other sequence makes a red protein. And this is what an allele is alternate version of a gene. All right, let's look about dominant and recessives and try and put that in context of alleles. So, if a dominant allele is there once, you will always have that characteristic. The dominant allele overrides the recessive one, okay? It is represented with a capital letter because it dominates, right? Um, such as capital A, but that letter can be anything. They'll give it, you, give it to you in the question. Capital letters denote a dominant allele. However, it could be an A, it could be a B, it could be anything. All right, so if a recessive allele is there twice, you will have the characteristics, but recessive alleles get overridden by dominant alleles, okay? So they get hidden or masked by the dominant one. Uh, they're represented with a lowercase because it is dominated, such as this little A down the bottom right there, okay? All right, so that's dominant recessive. Let's link it into these two next terms, homozygous versus heterozygous. The rule here is you always inherit two alleles for each gene. You get one from mum and one from dad. So for example, we might inherit a brown hair allele from mum, but we might get a red hair allele from dad, okay? And so this is, we get two alleles for each gene. So let's have a look at this. Well, homozygous is when the alleles are the same. For example, capital A, capital A, they are the same. So therefore this individual would be homozygous. Um, this next one, lowercase a, lowercase a, those alleles are the same. So this individual would be homozygous as well, okay? Well, what about this one over here? We've got a capital A and a lowercase a. These are not the same, they are different. So homozygous is not appropriate as a term here. Instead, we use heterozygous when the two alleles are different, okay? So this individual, capital A, lowercase a, would be heterozygous. Homo means same, hetero means different alleles, okay? All right, next, genotype versus phenotype. Uh, so a genotype is the collection of alleles that determine an organism's characteristics, i.e. what their DNA codes for. So we might be dominant dominant here, okay? Or you might be recessive recessive, or alternatively, you might be dominant recessive or heterozygous, right? Okay, this is what your genotype is. It's what's in your genes, right? Whereas phenotype is actually the characteristics that you see. They're what you display, right? And these can be infected by an environment. So when my boy Chris here heard that we were doing these videos, he got really excited to come in and see us do them. And you can actually see a phenotype right there. His stunning blonde hair, that is a phenotype. It's what's physically displayed. Maybe he dyed it. So the environment might be able to affect his phenotype. Um, and so he, blonde hair would be his phenotype. Um, whereas the genes that code for that, that would be his genotype. Um, and, and when uh, Emma here heard that Mr. Selby was involved with these videos, she, she was very interested. Um, and what we've got here is actually a brunette. This is a different phenotype, right? She's actually got brown hair. And so that's your phenotype. They're what you actually see. Lucky last is, all right, well, hey, Brew, um, what's a genome? Okay, you ask yourself this question all the time, I'm sure. Um, and so it's actually all the genetic material in an organism. So the sum of all your genetic material is your genome, right? All right, and those are the terms that we need to know. Hope this helped.